What's poppin' y'all? It is Michaela Janae here, back with another video. And in today's video, I will be doing a editorial protective style. This is my first time ever trying something like this and it came out so great. I was trying to be different because my makeup came out cute today. So I thought I'd come on here and share this style with you guys. If you guys want more videos like this, please let me know and I will be happy to do it. Okay, so first I'm just going to take my Revlon oil sheen just so I can comb through my hair. I'm just spraying it all over. I'm taking my wide tooth comb and combing my hair out. I make the ugliest faces while doing my hair. Do not ask me why. It's really funny to me, but I do. I guess I was struggling right there. Now I'm using my edge booster edge control you know I did a video on that all that good stuff I can never get the name right but that's what I'm using I'm gonna put that in the front of my hair and in the back because I am getting a little new growth from my relaxer I'm not gonna do any baby hairs because the style is so editorial well not so editorial but it's so extra and my makeup is so extra I didn't think baby hair was needed so I just went with a plain straight back ponytail As you can see, my kitchen needed some assistance, so I'm trying to make it go up as smoothly as possible. I'm just taking my more coarser hard brush to do that. I'm taking my no metal piece elastic band and putting it in a kind of tight ponytail, but not too tight making sure it's in the middle of my head now I'm gonna take my trusty dusty braiding hair I use the same braiding hair for a lot of things I like to put it going forward so as you can see I'm gonna flip it back so it looks more natural and my hair will just be underneath like that flip it over I'm gonna take this big rubber band for the first one cuz we're gonna start off with a bubble ponytail and I'm not gonna do it twice because it doesn't need to be too tight because we're gonna be wrapping the yarn around then I'm just gonna be taking regular smaller rubber bands for the rest of the bubbles Now I'm gonna show you guys my yarn. This is just embroidery floss and I have two shades of green and yellow. I wanted to match my makeup. So as you can see, I just had a short piece that I was holding at the bottom and then I continued to just twist the yarn around. And right here, I was twisting it around the rubber band at the bottom just to help it stay a little bit. And there's probably an easier way I can be doing this. I probably should have cut the yarn first, but I didn't know what length I needed it to be at. So I was just kind of doing it the difficult way. But you can definitely cut your yarn to about how long you think you need it to be. So when I got to the top, I was just tucking the yarn, extra yarn into my rubber band. So with that embroidery floss, it's a little bit longer because it was like a brand new one. So once again, I should have cut it but I'm just gonna hold it at the bottom. 
and go around my ponytail the exact same direction but just in different spots. right here I had to cut it because like I said that was a brand new one so I just tucked it into my rubber band and finally I'm going to do the yellow and I'm just going to hold it at the bottom but I'm going to go the opposite way in which you can create a pattern and go different ways each time but I think I like this way more because the yellow was kind of like a different color so I just want to cross it just with the yellow and it came out so great as you're going to see at the end And this hairstyle would be perfect for a photo shoot, something like that. I really wish I would have took some professional pictures or just did my own shoot. But this is definitely a look I'm going to do for a photo shoot because this just came out so cute and it's so different. So now I have to cut it again and tuck it in. And with the strings that are hanging, because I left a little bit and I suggest you leave it a little bit longer, I'm just gonna tie a knot so it stays secured and it did definitely stay secured all day. I even slept in it. So I struggled a little bit, but if you leave it longer, it's gonna be easier to tie it. I just couldn't get it together. And I just cut it a little bit shorter because that was way too long now that I have the knot. And I just did the knot in the back. So now this is the complete look. Feeling myself once again. I think I look good. And I do, I do. I'm not even gonna front. These are my pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please continue to like subscribe comment and share there will be more videos like this please let me know if you would try this style out i must holla at y'all later have a blessed day Mwah.